Hello, welcome to another episode of Land Rats. This week we built that arch for the solar panels that we'll put on the back of the boat. So uh, stay tuned to see how we build it from scratch and also how much it cost us. My dad quickly owning his welding skills, seeing if he can if he can weld stainless steel. Now the problem is the stainless steel, they say the stainless steel, we can't use this shielding gas. We've got to use a special shielding gas which is called uh, summing steel, stainless steel alloy or something. So I'm just using my normal CO2 gas but it seems like it is welding, it's shielding enough for, for, for peroxity. There's no peroxity there. So it looks like it will work. But you went right through. Yeah, because the problem is it's got only the only wire I can get hold of that I can borrow is 1.2 millimeter wire. And I'm not used to welding with 1.2 millimeter wire. This is actually quite thin wall thickness. This is one millimeter wall thickness. And I'm welding with a 1.2 millimeter wire. So, so let's see practice a bit more. Yeah, yeah. No, but I think, it, I think it'll work. Otherwise, we'll just have to get the... These are the off cuts from the spray dodger. Yeah, otherwise, we'll just have to get somebody with a thick welder to just, we'll just tack them and then get somebody with a thick welder just to weld them properly. We spent about a week planning uh, the arch that we built, um, taking pictures of the boat and then printing them out and then drawing different designs, deciding what we wanted to use, or what we wanted it to look like. We finally decided on a bigger arch than um, I think most people would have. That way we'll have the bigger solar panels on top and we'll also uh, have a little bit of extra shade at the back of the boat. Maybe put in a little seat there or something that you can sit at while, while cruising. After a couple of days of planning, we finally decided to go for this option, which uh, is a bit uh, smaller at the bottom, uh, at the top than at the bottom, um, instead of this option, which just looks like a like with a cargo ship or a container or something, or this one, uh, which is basically the same. So, 2.3 meters up, 2.1 meters wide at the top, 2.6 at the bottom, and then. We'll see if we're going to build a little frame so we can store stuff, stuff in there as well. Uh, and then this is the angle that it'll be at. The same as the stanchion and um, back just a little overhang on the back of the boat. We're done with our professional version of planning so we're going to cut it down there now. After our design was chosen, our planning was done, we decided to start with the big frame at the top. We, um, we had the sizes that we wanted at, at the estimate, so we, we, we cut them, we cut them down and we welded them in place and then hanged it from the, from the roof and put the rest of the bars in place so we can get a feel for it before we just tack weld it with the stainless steel and welder and then we took it in to, to get it welded which also cost us about a thousand rand. Um, this is the new hole saw we bought that is uh, 25 mil, the same as the stainless steel pipe that we're using for the frame. You can see it cuts out little pieces like that. Um, just so that when you fit over each other it, it fits. Oh, bad example but it fits nicely. Here are the bases we made for the for the thing. This These were practice runs so we're not going to use those two. Uh, this one I think is the first one that we'll actually use. You see it's just two washers welded together with a, with a bolt in the middle. So uh, that's going to be the basis that we use at the end of our pipes. For the, for the solar panel is going to go in there but I want these angles to run parallel so I need the angle here to be the same as the angle here so I'm just going to make a little bit of a template so we can get the angles the same I can weld the little washer on at the bottom there so first of all we're going to just put it down there this is a, if you haven't got there's a specific tool for this which we haven't got so I'm going to just make a template out of paper should work just as well. The land rat's way.
What have you been busy with while I was away? Busy playing around with a friend. Did they weld it already? Weld it the back frame. The back frame is welded. And you still have to line it up and see if it's all square and everything. Is that 0 0.8? It looks a lot bigger now. Up uh, in the air, huh? No, uh, that's 1.2. Oh yeah, 1.2. Oh, it's gonna overhang. Yeah. Okay. 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 Let's let's mount it. Use your wrench. Baboon spanner. That's the basics of the frame that we've got together now. It's all water level and doesn't look too bad. Spirit level. Now we're just gonna tack it with the CO2 welder and the stainless steel um, wire before we put in the frames on the sides. But it's still a little bit shaky. Yeah, flimsy. So, uh, we're gonna put another beam up up here to support it and then put some triangles make it like a strong i'm gonna put this in here stay up here to see if we can make it some more, more sturdy i think it should be a little bit better then yeah then we'll have to start putting in triangles to get it more sturdy we're also almost out of pipe that's our last big piece yeah. and we've just got a couple of off cuts left so we might need to go and buy some new ones that's welded in but it's still a bit flimsy so uh more supports needed i ran out of pipe landed that way join two pipes So thin, you gotta just touch it, otherwise you're through. My job is a glorified paperweight. What happened to your finger? Cut it with the angle grinder. Safety first, kids. Show us how you cleaned it there, Otopi. That's the... Doesn't look all that bad, huh? That good, but it doesn't look that bad either. I'm happy. Seeing that we want a functional boat, not a fancy boat. Oh, fancy would be nice. Because we can afford a functional boat. Yeah. <laughs> This is the frame completed, sand it down, smooth, ready to be put back in place. You can see down here where we mounted our new bases. That's just to keep it in place. Um, we're not going to put it back right now, but um, yeah, it's done. After tacking it and getting it welded, we had to spend some time sanding it down. Uh, to just make it make the welding a bit smoother and remove some of the sharp points and things from it but uh, now it's basically done so that's our solar arch and this is how much it cost us that's it for this episode guys hope you enjoyed it and if you want to follow us on facebook and instagram to see more daily semi daily updates um, be sure to do so i had to run upstairs now we just received our inverter so we'll be 
adding our electricity and wiring into the boat soon we'll get our solar panels to put on top of the arch so uh, exciting stuff see you in those episodes mm -hmm.